Chager, Dave, everyone. Welcome. Hope everyone had a nice Guru Purnima. Several people are at the ashram at SPN that have been coming to these meditations. And today they have the privilege of uh, being in the Babaji cave at SPN to do the meditation. So that's a blessing for them. So it's nice to see everyone here. And uh, Babaji has arranged this meditation in three parts. So when we begin, I will, uh, there's quotes from Gurji and Babaji that will be meditating on the subject of those ones. So I will read that once we get started. And, um, and then there will be a period of the silent meditation on that one, and then the second one, and then the third one. So that's how it's organized today. Afterwards, as usual, uh, we can uh, uh, have a period for questions and answers and any comments that anyone would like to make. So Jay Gurge, then we will uh, get started now. So begin with closing your eyes and starting to center yourself in quietness. So now, as you're getting more relaxed and quiet and centered, I'd like to read a quote from Mahavda Babaji. This is, quote is about Mahavda Babaji from our Gurudev. And these were played on the screen as people came in the waiting room, but this is part of the meditation as well. So Guruji says, you have the grace of Mahavatar Babaji with you, one of the greatest avatars who has ever walked the earth. And he has said on other occasions, when Lord Krishna left this planet, his devotees missed him and he returned as Mahavatar Babaji. Babaji has promised to stay on the planet in this aspect as the immortal yogi and the father of Kriya Yoga, as Mahavata Babaji, until all atmas or all souls have transcended the wheel of karma, the cycle of birth and death. In 2020, I asked Guruji if he is Krishna, just casually, and he just answered, yes, I am. So we have these masters working with us in these meditations and on the new telegram group of Amrita from Babaji. They're working with us energetically within the heart, the spiritual heart. So this first part of the meditation that we'll be meditating within ourselves and know that Babaji is right there with you. Energetically, he will be helping you. And so perceive whatever that is, there's no wrong or right way to do it. But we'll be meditating on this quote from Guruji. And Babaji entitled this meditation, your body is a temple where the Lord himself resides. So Gurji says, your body is a temple where the Lord himself resides with all his splendor and all his love. So in our lives, let's remind everyone of the sacredness and keep the body healthy. Gurji says, you will act the same way but the Lord's face never vanishes, vanishes from you. 
you see the same Lord in each person. And this is an important part. If you could keep this in mind while the quiet time of the meditation. So Guruji says, then you say, oh my goodness, he's playing this role now. He chooses to be foolish. He chooses to be intelligent. He chooses to be the guru. He chooses to be the disciple. He chooses to be the friend. He chooses to be the enemy. He is the super soul. So as you meditate, remember that all these people that we meet and know and love have these attributes, these characteristics, and it's all the Lord. There is no other but him. So Babaji would like us to meditate on that for the silent time. Just what we've read, whatever you can remember. Know that Babaji is with you and there's no right or wrong way to do this. Jager Dave, I'll come back.
Taker Dave, everybody, for the second part. Just be aware in whatever way you can perceive that we are now in the etheric cave of Labaji that is prepared for you. Just allow yourself to be there and know that Martyr is with you and will help you energetically. Just become aware of yourself and all of us will be sitting around in a circle like we always do before. So we're in a circle inside the cave now in your perception and Babaji is there. So the second part, we will have the silent meditation is also a quote from Gurji. The spiritual journey is from the physical heart to the spiritual heart and from the spiritual heart to higher consciousness. Gurji says, if you have the opportunity to do this journey in this lifetime, don't waste time, don't lose hope because we are all a part of the divine, whether we want it or not, and we will attain him. Babaji has said many times that he will be here with us until every soul attains this. Just when we meditate on this part, see, feel, perceive that truth for yourself. We will attain him. Babaji and Guruji are always with us. Feel that in this higher energy that we will be in now. Guruji says it doesn't matter how many lifetimes one takes on earth. He is the source. He is the beginning and the end. So now the silent part of what was just read.
Jagar Dev, everybody, for the last part, the third part of the meditation, to talk about Babaji had me start a telegram group, which he named Amrita from Babaji. Some of you have been participating in this month that that's been available. He writes messages each day to the group. He's been doing that frequently on Facebook for, I don't know, a decade. But now he's doing this all, his own group here. And every day he gives some inspiration. On one of his quotes, one of the messages he gave, he talked about the flags of the different countries, the country flags. This is what he said to the people. In the participants resonance in our Amrita from Babaji Telegram online community and in the spiritual work of Amrita from Babaji community online and also these monthly meditations, we perceive the flags of countries as a unification symbol of rising above the Maya way of perceiving them as a separation factor. Babaji would like you to meditate now on how you perceive the flags of countries as a unification symbol or a separation factor. And then he would like you to see if you feel like you could be more positive about perceiving people in the different countries as part of God, just like you. Guruji talks about this often that one of the things that we do here in order to attain the Supreme Lord, in order to reach the higher consciousness, we must perceive the divine in everyone and everything. So now we meditate on what we just read here.
Chegar Dev. Now, for just a few moments, allow yourself to feel Babaji himself as he is in the cave with you. Just to feel what he would say to you personally. Jagger, Dave, everyone. I just began to become aware of your physical self and your surroundings where you began. And as you're grounded, go ahead and open your eyes. Thank you. 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 Thank you.